Hey guys, welcome back. I'm doing my first collab today. So I'm here with It Gets Real and I'll link his channel down below, but I'm super excited. And right now we're just walking the beach. We're gonna be surf fishing today, looking for perch, maybe stripers. So we're gonna get to a little hole I marked last time I was here. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm using, how we're using it, and we'll get ready. So we're here at like 10.30 in the morning, high tide is a one so we got a couple of hours we're gonna be fishing the incoming tide and it's looking pretty nice out here there's not a lot of wind and it's really calm so we're gonna give it a go what i'm using today i got my 10 foot surf rod spooled up with 30 pound braid using a 14 pound mono leader right there and i have a lucky craft on here so this bait is basically the perfect size for perch and striper so we can hit both species with this one lure. So we're just gonna get out there, start casting a, a bit and see what we can find. All right, let's get to it. I'm throwing this lucky craft first and I'm just waiting in a little bit and you know how I do it for perch. I'm just gonna test out the waters, have a nice cast in there, flick that in right past the breakers. And then once it's down there, I'll give it a nice slow retrieve. I know perch loves slow retrieves. I'm just gonna give this lure a couple of pops, jerk it up a little bit, just to give it a little more action, make it a bit more enticing. Hopefully we can hook, hook up a nice perch, maybe a striper, whatever else is out here, I'll take today. So I tend to do pretty well with perch on a really slow retrieve. So look at how slowly I'm just reeling. And really a lot of the action I'm giving it is just from temporarily or every once in a while flicking my rod up. Just, you know, get it to shake, make it a little bit more lifelike for those perch. Maybe make him a little more likely to bite it. But that slow retrieve really is a killer for these perch. And you don't have to cast that far. You know, most of the fish in the surf are not necessarily very far. It's just. As long as you're getting out past the first set of breakers, you should have a pretty good chance of hooking up on something as long as it's there. So if they're there, we'll find them. And if not, we'll just walk down the beach. We got a lot of beach to cover today and we'll do it until we can find some fish. So let's see how it goes. So you can see out there how there's waves forming way out there. That wave on the very, very end is here. It's gonna crash. It's gonna crash and then it's come forward and it's gonna form a new wave. And basically what that means is that there's a sandbar. It gets shallow over there. So the wave crashes. It crashes a bit, keeps moving forward because it gets deeper again. So it regains some energy. And then as it gets shallower right here, it crashes right at my feet. So. It looks like there is a sandbar and a trough here, which will be really nice. And that's kind of the kind of structure you want to find when you're looking for perch, when you're looking for striper, halibut, whatever else could be out there. Because they use those little troughs, the deeper areas, like freeways. And oftentimes, you know, that's where you find them, actually, more often than not. So fish those troughs, fish those holes, and you will do well. Ooh, look what I found over here. It's a nice little rip current. People don't like rip currents, but really predatory fish use them to their advantage because they're basically little rivers out to sea and a lot of bait fish kind of get stuck up and pulled by them just like people do. And that's when the predatory fish capitalize. They come in and they just whack them. So I'm gonna hit this little rip here for a bit. See if I can find anything but it's looking promising. It's a pretty big rip current. So you might wonder why would you use lure when you can use bait? Because you usually do catch more fish on bait. But surf perch are a species that usually travels in big schools. And when you're using bait, you know any one of the fish in the school will hit it. And most of the fish in the school by definition are kind of small. So by using a lure, you know, if I swim this through a school of surf perch, only the big ones will be able to actually go up to it, take a bite out of it and hopefully get hooked. So you still can catch big surf perch on bait, but just 
statistically, you're much more likely to catch a smaller one. So the main point of using a lure is to just kind of weed through the smaller ones, hopefully find a big one that bites. And on top of that, it's honestly a lot more fun than bait, in my opinion, you know? You're swimming it, you feel the action of the lure, you feel it swimming through the water, and then all of a sudden, bam, it gets hit by a big old perch. So if, you want, if you're looking to have fun, and hopefully get on a nice sized perch. I really suggest you go with a lure. We got some dolphins jumping out there. Bottlenose dolphins, there you go. You see a fin, that's nice. You know, hopefully they're chasing bait towards the beach and not away from it. Because <laughs> sometimes dolphins can help a lot. Sometimes they can do the opposite. We'll see. We'll keep moving down the beach. This is how you gotta be surf fishing, you just cast walk down the beach until you find a school and then you just hammer in. My other lure snapped off, which is super frustrating and expensive, but it's okay. I tied on this new one. This is a Kalisa. You know, the last time I was out here throwing this lure, I hooked into two massive perch. Uh, they ended up measuring at 16 and 16 and a half inches. So the 16 and a half inch perch was actually only half an inch off from tying the state record lengthwise, not weight wise, but lengthwise. So it was still a massive perch, two massive perch. And both on this lure, both on this beach. So let's see if we can produce some of the magic again. I'm on baby, I'm on. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. Let's see it, let's see it. This is a good fish. About time, baby, that's three hours in. But we got a fish. Let's bring it up, let's bring it up. This feels heavy. This feels heavy, this feels heavy. Come on. Nice! Nice, that is a really nice perch. Oh my God. Oh my god, look at the size of this perch. Every time I come out here, I get big perch. That is awesome. That is completely awesome. First fish of the day. Let's keep fishing. Nice, nice, nice. I was starting to lose hope for today. I'm not even gonna lie. Let me quickly dehook this guy. Ooh, there we go. There we go. We got one. It hit not very far. So it's just, just here. There might be some more though. Beautiful little perch. Measure him later. And yeah, awesome. We're gonna see if we can hook up on another one because as I said, they travel in schools. Let's go, baby. All right, let's see. Let's see it, they're around. There's gotta be more. Oh, that felt good, man. I tell you, you know, <laughs> this might only be a eight, 10 minute video, whatever, but we've been out here for three hours without a single actual tank. So one fish after three hours makes all the difference. Feels so good. I just hope we can both hook up now. So nice to finally catch a fish. I'm gonna rinse this guy really quick and we'll get a quick measure on him because this is a pretty nice perch. Look at that. That's beautiful. This is a nice, chunky, barred surf perch. Look at that. What a cool fish. I love catching these guys. So I'm gonna get a quick measurement on this big barred surf perch. So I'm just measuring from the mouth all the way to that tail and that is 14 inches. That's a good 14 incher. Nice. You know, that's why I love using these lures. You don't catch as many perch, but the ones you do catch are dinner plates. So we're gonna keep walking down the beach and yeah, see what else we can hook up. Look at that, those vultures are eating a sea lion out there. It's kind of brutal. A lot of people don't like vultures, but it's the fastest declining animal species on earth. You can see those vultures, they ate, they ate the sea lion's face first. And it's because they can get in uh, like to the brain and all of that really easily through the eyes. And it has, it's super, super fatty, super, super good food for them. But right there where a face should be, there isn't. So that's interesting. It smells pretty bad though. So I'm gonna keep going, see what else we can hook up here. Oh, I just had a bite here. I just had a bite here. Oh, 
Let's see if I can get a perch back. Oh, I just lost one. Let's see if we can come back. That was definitely a, a pretty nice perch. So they're around. You know, if, if there's a school around, I'm about to start getting hit, so. Fog just rolled in out of nowhere. Suddenly we're fishing in the clouds. I love it. Now all we need is another fish. Fish on. Nice, there we go. This is gonna be a nice little perch too. I'm pretty sure this is another perch. I knew it, baby. I knew that fish was coming and it came. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we definitely found a nice little hole here. Yeah, that's another perch. That's another perch. That's another slab of a perch. Please look at the size of all the perch that I've been pulling up here. This is another really, really chunky fish. Let's get him dehooked. Fish number two, baby. All right, let's quickly dehook this little beast so we can get back in there. There we go, nice. Look at this, look at this little perch. That's another one, actually not so little perch. I'll measure him after though, that's dope. Fish number two. I just hooked up, it gets real, just hooked up. It's getting real, the fishing is getting real now. Let's see, where there's one, there might be more. Where there's two, there's definitely more. I'm on, I'm on again. That's another one, that's another one. That's perch number three, baby. I see him. Oh, is that a striper? Is that a striper or a perch? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's a... No, that's a striper! Oh, I just lost a striper! That's a striper! Oh, I just lost a striper! Oh, no way! No way, I just lost a striper. All right, all right, let's get it back in there. They're around. They're out here. We found a good spot. That was a striper, man. That's so painful. I saw him shake the hook. I saw him shake the hook. But you know what? That was not a huge striper. It was a schooly sized striper. So that kind of striper, that size striper, usually travels in schools. So I'm, I'm optimistic, you know? There's a, we have good chances right now of catching another one. Yup, 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 yup. That's another fish on. That's another fish on. There we go. This one definitely feels like a perch, not a striper. They do fight different. And there we go. Another perch, baby. Another fish. Woo! That's a lot of fish today. Let's go. So they're still around here. You know, these blitzes can last a pretty pretty good time. And you you know, there's, there's other fish getting the mix. Perch, striper. Oh, oh my. I'm not going to be able to sleep well because of that striper. But you know what? You cannot complain. This is awesome. I'm gonna get this guy de-hooked real fast. There we go. There's a quick de-hook. And you know, this is a pretty small perch. So I'm actually gonna let it go. I have two that are way bigger. So let's, just, let's get this guy released real fast. I love these guys. Little barred surf perch. And they taste great too. But you know, I've caught way bigger today. So I'm gonna quickly release this guy. See you later, buddy. I'm gonna get a quick measure on this second perch really fast. Looks about the same size as the other one. Oh, it's a little bit, it's a little bigger. 14 and a half, 14 and three quarters, almost 15 inches. So these are pretty big perch. This is the second one. And here on the right is that first one. So great fish today. It's gonna be plenty of food. And yeah, that's awesome. All right, that's it for today. We got a couple nice perch. We lost that one striper, but great day. You know, it started off super slow. We've actually been here all day and most of the fish hit in the last hour so that's really how it is sometimes uh this it gets real i'm gonna add his uh i'm gonna add his channel <laughs> in the description down below make sure to like his video subscribe definitely check him out and yeah until next time tight lines